Thanks so much for. Oh, sorry about that. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome to our Team Fireball um, call that we do every Monday evening. So happy to see you all on here. All wonderful faces. I missed you guys, and it's just so special to come together every Monday, share what helps us, what works for us. Um, you know, all of the wonderful things that come with doing life vantage. You know, most of us are doing this part time, squeezing it into the nooks and crannies. Um, and that's why I'm so excited about our guest tonight. So I can't wait to introduce her. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to share just a little bit about me. Um, in case you don't know me and thank you to all of you who are watching the replay. My name's Alice Beretta. I'm Pro5 with Life Vantage. I'm an equine vet, mom of two boys and a wife. Um, so I juggle, it's a big juggle, <laughs> um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I absolutely love our company. I love sharing our products. Um, and it has just brought a part to my life that I never knew existed. Um, just the friendships, the people that I've met and really just the information that we have to share is just gigantic. It's so much bigger than we are. And we have something so beautiful to offer and you just can't help. You just can't help, but share it with people. And the most beautiful thing is that when you help others, it comes back tenfold. Um, so thank you all for taking the time out of your day to be on here with us. And I'm so excited, um, for our call tonight. I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, our true science beauty system, which is incredible. Um, but before I go into that, um, I would like to just remind everyone just a couple of announcements. Um, the Activate event is June 17th and 18th. So if you haven't registered for that, it's only 45 days away. <laughs> I cannot believe how time flies, you guys. I can't even believe it's May. So and silly things and <laughs> so I get really crazy in the spring and I just really um struggle to keep my head above water and I feel like the chaos of life is a little overwhelming but now I just I feel so much more peace in this new month and um I'm just excited to be starting it off and and be leading the call today um, but remember, activate June 17th and 18th. If for some reason you guys can't make it in person, we will miss you so, so greatly, but definitely sign up for the virtual. There is a virtual option um, for those of you who can't make it in person. And I also, we always try to um, say congratulations to our distributors who have new enrollments. So I want to say congratulations to Jenny Fields. Woo, sorry about that. <laughs> Jenny Field, congratulations. You girl are so amazing, so consistent. You never skip a beat. No matter what's going on in your life, what kind of craziness is thrown your way, you are so consistent and you prioritize. And I just, I'm in awe of how much work you do behind the scenes, but it shows because every single week, Jenny's name pops up there. So congratulations, Jenny, for having new enrollments this week. Um, and then I guess I can go ahead and introduce Andrea. You guys, I met Andrea at Pro5 Summit and she is a force to reckon with. She is the most beautiful soul. She is the mom of seven kiddos and a wife and um, travels in an RV with her family, traveling the USA and just homeschooling her kids. They're having the best life. And she's just share, sharing her, you know, best side of her family with her, her children. So it's just amazing to see her travels and the way that she shares life vantage with so much conviction and compassion and just passion in general. Um, I just, I love following you, Andrea, on Facebook. I'm so glad we connected at Pro5 Summit. I like immediately fell in love with her as a mama, but then to hear her story and just to see how she shared this with the world, I'm so inspired by you. So Andrea, I would love for you to just share your story with our team. 
Um, and just how in the world you fit this life vantage thing in the nooks and crannies of your day with your crazy life that you have. Oh my gosh, Alice, you know, the, the best thing about this, well, I don't know what the best thing about this business is. I don't know if it's the people, the product, or, I don't, or the lifestyle it brings us, but it's the best of the best. The best thing about the summit was meeting you and meeting those other rock stars. It, to the people that are surrounding in my life right now, it's night and day from what it was four or five years ago. It truly is. So I, I love this business. I love everything about it. Um, guys, it's so great to be here on the call with everyone tonight. Um, a little bit about me. My name is Andrea Abert. I am married to my husband, Andre, who's a chef. He's from Germany. And, um, you know, we didn't know anything about business. We didn't know anything about escaping the nine to five. In fact, we didn't, my husband came from, you know, East Germany. So he actually grew up behind the Berlin wall. He's a little bit older than me. And we only knew hard work. That's all we knew. We didn't know anything. And my husband, he kind of thought we were doing great because we had two cars. <laughs> Coming from East Germany, he was like, we're doing great. We have a house and two cars. And we were living within our budget, but we never saw my husband. Like he was gone Christmas, Easter, yeah, New Year's Eve, um, you know, all the holidays, weekends. He was working every single weekend as an executive chef. And then um, the, the, every time he would get a rank advancement or, or a better job or more publicity, he would just get more hours, more hours. And then now we know it's like so hard with all the people um, just who aren't showing up for their job, right? They're just calling in whatever, or maybe they're not even calling in. So anyway, he'd be doing dishes and coming back at one in the morning. So that was our life. And we didn't really see any, any way outside of it. And um, I accidentally stumbled upon uh, mindset. And, and it was the biggest blessing in disguise. And so long story short, when this opportunity of Life Vantage came to us, we were open and ready. Like we were, someone told me about a friend who I should talk to, who does a business. And I was like, okay, we'll talk to her. Um, when we heard about what this was, we signed up on a platinum pack and went to Salt Lake City in, in, within a week. So we caught on to the vision of what this was really quickly. And the, the way we built it, you know, with seven kids, I, I think it depends on how how bad you want it. Like for us, we wanted it so bad. And it's not like we didn't try many other things. So I was already working late at night doing eBay stuff. I was trying to do little things in the nooks and crannies of my life anyway. Um, but this was something that was eventually going to give us our time back, right? So if I, everything we were doing was trading time for money up until that point, you know, was flipping houses and stuff. Um, so when I jumped into this business, I, I committed to it like our marriage. It wasn't a maybe thing or that cute little thing, or if I can get to it at the end of the day. Um, and I don't want to sound bad because I, I, of course, prioritize my children and homeschooling and all of that. But there's there's something to this business that I knew that we can get it off the ground, that we would, I, I really embrace the concept that we can, if we can have a few years of maybe some chaos or some disorder in the house, or maybe we're not doing homeschooling 100%, you know, from this time to this time, every single day, um, it was going to be worth it because we were going to build a business that was going to give us our time back. So we kind of went into it with that, with that idea. And the one thing I will say is um, I stayed with it every single day. I think there hasn't been a day in the last three and a half years that we joined Life Vantage that I wasn't doing something for the business. Um, but Alice, you asked how I fit this in the, in the day to day of my life. And so in the beginning, I was trying to do like um, in person meetings, and I was trying to go to little events and stuff. And then I found that that didn't work with us because I had to find a babysitter, you know, you, you were not getting paid for our efforts in the beginning. <laughs> and you know, you can go to a, one of those events and like nobody signs up and nobody shows up or something like that. So we had a couple of those and then I just really honed into online. And so what I would do is um, I really focused in on my avatar and who I wanted to speak to. And uh, for me, that was freedom people. It was people who were like wide awake. And this is before 2020, this is like 2018, 2019. Um, people who were fighting for medical freedom already, other homeschool moms, maybe more natural minded people, because I realized that I can talk all day to, for example, the people we went to our local pool with, and no one was going to buy my product. Like no one was going to join my team because they're, they, they're just a different breed of people. Um, we like them, we get along with them, but they're not like, they, they weren't my avatar. And so I started to um, really, I think, grow my influence online by showing up every day and doing, um, I would do at least a live video once a week and I would start to interview people to, to build my name up to what I was doing. 
And then out in the real world, the beautiful thing about having seven children in a business like, like this, at the time we had five when I started, um, is you can really incorporate it into anything you're already doing. So for example, if you're at a soccer game, you're kind of working, you're just socializing, talking to people. You know, if, if we go to the Capitol to protest, which we were doing at the time, you know, that you talk to people, that's all it is. And it's, it doesn't even have to be about your business. You're just genuinely getting to know people and then get in the habit of saying, hey, let's connect on social media. And so they may not hear your message that day you meet them, but you're staying consistent on social media. So you're kind of doing the one, two punch. You're staying consistent, but you're going out in public, you're meeting people and get in the habit of like going to the beach and just being social, talking to people. If you're an introvert, you know, you can find them in the Facebook groups. You can do it a different way. You can, you can connect with people in Facebook groups or in a, a setting that you're more comfortable with. I'm an extrovert, so I can make friends anywhere. And I'll just talk to them and um, introduce them. You know, we would connect on online. And then before you know it, I'm talking about the NRF2 or some little yellow pill or this business opportunity. And, you know, the, it's almost like you caught them, like you're putting out a little, a little worm and they're like, wait, this is interesting. And uh, it's kind of nice to ca capture their attention like that. So that's a lot of the way that I worked. And the beautiful thing was um, my kids are a part of it. And so there's actually um, a training, for example, like how many are building on social media on this call? Or do you feel like you're building social media? Yeah. So that's the beautiful thing. Like your kids or whatever is, is whatever could be your excuse for not building this business could actually be your, your reason for building the business. You can actually flip the switch on that. So for example, you can say, I can't because I have five kids or six kids or seven kids, or you can say, I'm going to do it because I have six kids, seven kids, and I need this, but really something cool that someone showed me. Um, I don't know if I can get a piece of paper, but your life on social media is your brand. So you don't have to worry. I'm, it's not corporate America where I'm, you know, like my seven children are separate from me and my husband is separate. And then I have this life vantage business. It's actually, my brand is me. It's my husband. It's our seven kids. It's our lifestyle. It's our dreams, our hopes, uh, what we're good at, the mistakes we made, um, everything that has to do with our family. And so the beautiful thing is when you have kids or you have a lot going on in your life, you actually have more to share. You can, you know, you could take a picture of being in the Staples that day, and that could actually be your post and people will connect with you. Um, you can be online that day and people will connect with you. It's whatever you're doing. If you're letting the chickens out, you know, if you're, if you have a homestead, that's actually your brand. And that's what, that's what you need to show up as. So that's the, that's what I love about this business is there is almost no excuse. And, and the busier our lives are, the more interesting we are on social media. And it actually works to, to our advantage, so to speak. Um, any charity event you do, anything for church, you know, just remember the, the hardest thing is to remember to kind of document it and, and put it in there. But um, Alice, someone, I just watched the training and it was mind blowing to me. Um, it was talking about what to post on social media. Does anyone like have any worries about what they post? Like, like, keeping up some interesting things or do you always have ideas I'm always afraid I'm gonna offend someone <laughs> oh, really? I'm, I'll tell you what I, I I'll tell you what the best thing about this business too is when you in the beginning we don't really know who our avatar is at this point or probably about two years ago I decided that if I offend them I probably don't want to work with them anyway <laughs> and what's like because I'm not I'm not blatantly offensive but I'll give you an example like I just we just went to church we're traveling in an RV right now so I don't know if I share with that but we about six months ago my husband quit his job we're traveling full-time in an RV on a tight budget but we want we just we're tired we want to do this so um I posted a video of my son he, we went to, to to church and this whole family was masked in front of us and my son was really upset. He was like, this is so stupid. He's eight years old. And he's like, I thought this was over. I can't believe they're doing this. So I, I recorded him saying that. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of people say, yeah, this is this, good for this. This is what we're teaching our kids. Or this is the kind of conversation I would have with my kids. And then one friend actually, who I've known for a while, reached out to me and she said, you know, this is the second time you posted something like that. And I didn't want to say anything the first time, but now I'm going to, now I'm going to correct you. And that wasn't Christian of you. And she did the whole thing. But here's, she said, I wear, I, we wear a mask because their son is immune suppressant, right? But here's a little bit of a backstory to her. And I was talking to my husband about this earlier today. 
her son has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Okay, so if, if you know about Britannum and those, those 28 independent peer reviewed studies, one of them is on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Like there's actually a study on PubMed.gov with Protandum and this thing. So this girl and I have had several conversations about oxidative stress, lowering it, getting your son started. This can help them. She's been on almost like to buy it so many times and then just hasn't. She won't, she won't buy it. And then she's choosing to be offended that we're talking about masks. So, so do you know what I mean? There's kind of a disconnect there. So not that I'm giving everyone free reign to to hurt people, but at the end of the day, she's not going to buy the product from me anyway because she's not my target audience. If you're if you're looking for a mask to shield your son, what and, and you know, God bless her, I don't like want to go into it, but she, if she's looking for a mask to shield her son and wanting to um, you know, get other people on board or, or with that idea, but she's not open to this little pill that has an incredible study on PubMed with that's all natural with five pills, five herbs. Do, do you know what I mean? So in, at the end of the day, don't worry about offending them because everyone's going to be offended <laughs> at some point or another. And then um, something I also remember, as long as we're not offensive in our heart, like we didn't mean to offend anyone. We're trying to like wake people up or, or, or share a new idea or this concept that we have this body that is a natural, um, it has these natural healing mechanisms. You know, you have to wake the world up to these things. And um, it's almost a charity in a way because you have to, I think, for people, in order for people to have a paradigm shift with the way they think, the first step in having a paradigm shift is misjudging somebody, you know, and and that's the wake up call. And I know it's for me too because I know I'm not a judgy person, but I do remember thinking about one girl who did network marketing, like, oh my gosh, she's you know, that's crazy. I judged her, and then she, and later she proved me wrong. She retired her engineer husband, and I admire her so much to this day. But I was that person in the back of my head going, oh, there's another one trying to start a little pig business from home and sell it to her friends. You know, I, I didn't understand what it was. And I and I had that was a growing period for me. So I didn't understand her. I judged her. And um, and then I grew from that point on. So sometimes people it's OK for them to misunderstand us or or think that whatever they want to think on us, whatever they want to project onto us isn't has nothing to do with us. And there's also a saying that, you know, if you get offended um, you have to give someone permission to offend you, you know, we can't be offended on our own, you know, so there's, there's this one, um, uh, it's kind of like, um, do I have time, Alice? Absolutely, you have all the, yeah, we have, okay, <laughs> well, this is really cool, I shared it with my team this morning, because I thought it was so great, it was, what we talk about, getting our avatar, and getting five pillars, things that you're, that you stick with, you know, and you talk to those things. So if sewing is your passion and homeschooling is your passion or uh, natural food is your passion or traveling is your passion, you kind of like speak to those things and you incorporate life managed business and the products. But this chart was kind of easy because you just put your name in the middle of it like this, like it would just be Andrea, right? So that's me in the, in the beginning. Actually, I've got really bad lighting. So you might not even be able to see what I do. But you take from that middle drawing there, you would write a, a line and I would write um, like marriage, mar um, married life or marriage, right? And then I could say, I've been married for 15 years. I have some wisdom in that in that department. And so from that little subcategory, I can branch off and talk about um, love languages with my spouse, um, how to deal with your in-laws, how to something, something, you know, I can, I can actually branch off and make a ton of posts just with that. And then that's just one of my branches. So I can branch off and say homeschooling can be another branch of mine. And then I can talk about where we started with homeschooling. We can talk about the classical method. We can talk about unschooling. We can talk about, you know, um, how it doesn't have to look like traditional schooling and how the industrial revolution changed everything and how it doesn't actually have to look the way it looks, you know, and it can go on and on like that. It could, it can go into natural health. It can go into birth because we, you know, I've birthed children before, um, and, and so on, it can go into like horses can be another one and then it can branch off. It could be like saddles and, uh, riding styles and your particular favorite and your particular favorite horse. And, you know, and it really, there, it is like endless. And the, the, the idea is that you sit down with a paper and you start writing your own diagram of you, you know, so you start with Alice in the center and then all the things that you do. 
And then from those things, you sub branch and sub categorize. And literally, like, there is no end to the things you can talk about on Facebook. And then you just have to remember, you know, you can pre write those posts or kind of get them, get them ahead of time, but you really have an endless possibilities of things to post. And then you just kind of incorporate that NRF2 and this activation and this business. And do you want to do it with me? You know, and uh, something I will just say, probably in closing, Alice, is um, oh, you know, there were times that it, with the seven kids and running for this business because. My husband quit his job after three years. Um, and the reason we did is because our organization, organization is so big right now that even at Pro 5, almost six level right now, we're, um, we just have such a strong team that's growing. And we're just like, let's, let's, let's all go all in. But there were times of temporary chaos, I would say, or there were times that I would do a live video because I wanted to show up and I wanted to connect with people and interview people. And I would just run downstairs and tell the kids, okay, we're watching a movie, everyone be super, super quiet, okay? And I'll give you a lollipop if you're really good. You know, or just all that kind of chaos because the kids know at the end of the day, we're doing this as a family. Like it's, it's not mom's career that's separated from the family. It's literally like, we're all doing this. You all have to do one for the team tonight. I need to do this. My husband would be at work, right? Because he cuts home at 11 o'clock at night. So if I was doing a live video, it was always like hope and a prayer that everyone's going to be quiet and no one's going to fight downstairs and nobody like accidentally got hurt or something. And then I would always like breathe when it was over. But um, it, it's it's worth that temporary chaos. It's, if you see the vision at the end, um, those little inconveniences are just, it's it's all worth it, all totally worth it. Gosh, I love that, Andrea. It is worth it. It so is. And even though I only have two, which is a fraction <laughs> of seven, <laughs> a very small fraction, I I went through the same moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, boys, you guys have to watch this movie and you have to be super quiet and like, and then next thing I know, they're over my shoulder, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you just roll with it because there's somebody else on there yeah. who has who knows exactly what you're doing and they're thinking, okay, if she can do it, then maybe I can do it. Um, so I hear you and I, you know, you know go ahead. Um, I think it's worth saying something that really inspired me because I, I'm not a perfectionist as a person, but when it came to my business, I, I always had a little bit of that. It should be done right. Or the kids have to be really quiet um, or a little bit more picky, but I just love, um, oh my gosh, her name is escaping me. Melissa Brown. Pro yeah. seven, Elite Pro seven. So Melissa says, like, if you don't like the way you look and how you sound, guess what? <laughs> you know, like it everyone else knows it but you. And then something else she she says that I love is I hope that when people see me, they're like, Oh, Andrea can do that. <laughs> I can do that, no problem. Like almost the almost the reverse. Like we we put so much pressure on ourselves to be this amazing all together put together person. But there's something that Melissa is saying there, like, oh my gosh, if she can do it, I can totally do it. You know, like to, to that kind of like reverse psychology. I, I love it. And so if I ever mess up or make a mistake, I always think that's, that's going to inspire people to in that way, you know? I remember her saying that on stage and it hit me like a ton of bricks. She's like, if you're worried about the way you look or the way you sound on a live, she's like, I've got news to you for you. Like everybody already knows what you look like. They've seen you before through your friends. You know? And so I just was just like, duh, yeah. <laughs> like hurry so much, you know? And it's just, it's true. So much of this is just our confidence, our mindset. And, you know, that space between our ears that we have to work on to be able to grow, to be the leaders that we want to be. And um, I, I feel like I learned so much from other people and that's, that's why the events are so important to me is not just because of what's going on on stage, but those one-on-one -on -one conversations and, you know, connecting with people. And that was the best part about the Pro 5 Summit. I loved it so much. I just felt like we were all in the same boat, like rowing together, um, you know, just wanting to grow as like a team, like team life vantage, you know, versus just our team. Um, so thank you so much for sharing, Andrea. I wanted to open up the call to see if anybody else had any specific questions for Andrea um, and see if she's got anything else that you guys wanted to ask her. And if not, it's okay. <laughs> Is 
everybody's quiet today. I love it. No, I, I, it's late too. I actually started doing my calls in the morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah well we'll see we'll see what happens there's always people who don't want to go at nighttime and so we, we started the morning we'll see what we'll see how that goes I but, see Jen um, no Jenny unmuted herself did you have a question Jenny I don't really have a specific question I just wanted to say thank you for sharing I really appreciate you know hearing your story and I the same thing I love hearing people's story and how they do this business and how they fit it in their lives and and all that. So I just wanted to say thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I love that. What, what, um, how long have you been with Life Manage? Uh, just about three years. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, it's when we went to Pro 5 Summit, Alice, we, you know, it, all of us were pinching ourselves because I, it was, it was, it was literally like they rolled out the red carpet for us. And everything was paid for and we were wine and dine but they were also you can also see they were kind of preparing you right Alice for the next level like how to speak how to go out there how to like next level level leadership like you're going to start to see these people on the stage in a year or two years and it was just like pinching ourselves like how could it is there's something about this business that we do it in faith we're building in faith because we're not being paid in the beginning very much and even, you know, my husband, I have a husband who's 100% supportive and he knows what this business is and what it's doing. But even he sometimes was like, what are you doing? Because it's hard for them to see like that you're on a call or that this is work somehow that this is, even though you're doing like a live video with some person in Canada, they don't know that that, and that's maybe not bringing any money in. It's just getting your name out there. It's, it's hard for them to see that it's a, it's a business and it's something. And as strong as my convictions are, it's kind of hard for you to see it too. You also, you just have to have that vision in your head. You know, the stories, you know how it goes. You hit one, then you go two, then you go three, then you go four, you know, and you just start working your way up and you have to keep focus. But there's a level of kind of disbelief. And when you get to pro five and then you start breaking that $1,000 a month um, residual and, and it goes up and then you go to the pro five summit, you're literally pinching yourself because you're like, okay, this is like, this is very real all of a sudden so uh, you guys all have that experience that I can't wait for you to have it that's what Alice was saying she's like I want my whole team to get here <laughs> I know that's exactly what I was thinking it's like everybody needs to get here like there's just something about that rank and just being there together and getting to really spend all that time with our corporate team that just gives you so much belief in the company and in yourself. Um, and I was like, ah, I just want everybody here. What do we need to do to get everybody here? So it was incredible. Um, and does anybody else have anything they want to ask Andrea? I think we have a couple more minutes. Okay. I think, oh, Kat, did you want to jump on? No. Okay. All right. No worries. <laughs> Um, sorry, I just had an interruption. Eli oh. lost. <laughs> sorry, I, uh, I've been listening. We've been working, doing, we're bathing snakes. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> um, uh, homeschooling mom too. Um, live in an RV half the time too. So that was awesome um, to hear that you can do that and still share and do and spread the word. And yeah, and then remember, like all that craziness, that's your content. So, so it works out. Yes. Especially when you have a cute baby. Because we had we had two babies born while building. And I was oh, every time we had a baby, I was like, oh, that really boosted my algorithm because everybody loves a new baby. <laughs> no, no more babies here. Okay. First baby. First baby. Just <laughs> post those snakes. No. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kat. So thanks. Oh, I missed that. What did you just say about the chaos is your content? <laughs> I've got chaos. <laughs> there you go. Good the day. <laughs> uh, thank you, Andrea. Anybody else want to jump on? I was just going to say, Andrea, thank you so much for sharing. I love
okay. and the companies, you know, I, I like, I just like want to rebel against social media sometimes. I understand. Um, I've been and, in, I've been in Facebook jail maybe like four times. Yeah. So I really don't like Facebook because I just don't agree with a lot of it. Um, in terms of, yeah, I'm with you on so many levels of what you said tonight. So I just tend to like, want to just quit Facebook and I don't want anybody to know anything about me, yeah. <laughs> you know? So like then, but then I know that's not good for my business, but at the same time, you know, how do you kind of have a positive attitude of like sharing stuff about yourself where you, you know, that vulnerability, it's almost like you want to keep your stuff private nowadays. Yeah. Do you know what? I think a lot, uh, well, I'll say something, the way I look at Facebook, because I didn't know before I did this business, if I like Facebook or not, I, I had about 300 friends and I, um, I posted sporadically and I thought there was drama on there and I didn't like it. Um, then I started to use it like a business. So has anyone um, seen like the DMO, the daily method of operation? Right. So I just committed to that every single day, just trusting the process, not really asking why adding the friends, adding the friends, doing the things, showing up, doing live videos, all the things that I wasn't doing before. And it took me, I would say, for about four months to find my stride. So I was you don't have to know who you're talking to right away. But after about four to six months, I started to go. I know exactly who I'm talking to. And it was it was the freedom mamas. It was the people like us, Allison. And the reason is, is because. Um, they're the ones who are going to understand this product. They're the ones who are going to get on this product and they're the ones that are going to join our team. They're us, you know, life vantage attracts so many truth seekers. And what I love about social media is when you start speaking that message out there and putting out there of positivity, joy, truth, um, all, all the things that the world needs to hear. Don't think about who is going to judge it, hate it. Think about the person who is you're trying to connect with. It, it almost makes it unemotional. Yeah because you're talking to a very specific person, kind of person. Algorithm. But <laughs> I, I will also say that, you know, we're supposed to let our light shine. And we need more of that. And I, I think anytime we have the fear, anytime there's fear in my life, I realize that it's just, um, it's, it's just to me, it's like the devil, like really wants us to stay low and not, not surpass anything. And it's always like an act of faith to go out there and just, I don't know. I, I've just, I don't think about it. I just think about why I'm doing it and who I want to connect with. And then even with the kids on social media, I, with, with everything being so corrupt, I'm like, well, if anything happens to us, they'll all know who we, what we look like and what we sound like. <laughs> and they'll know they can find us because we're all on social media where I'm like, before I remember, like I used to post, like read things at nighttime, go down the rabbit hole, even like eight, nine years ago. And then you are like, you feel so alone. And then you feel like, I wonder if the government's coming tonight. You know, I wonder if someone's coming tonight to, to shut us down but it's just you well today i feel like if i go down everyone's gonna know like I'll disappear. <laughs> so i i think there's something to it and then i just um people who really find their avatar and you just follow those people you will have a facebook page that's totally inspiring so uh, if i go to my facebook it's it's just inspiration 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 if i start to see even people who are slightly negative I unfollow them and let them go on their way because they're, even if they're going to join our business, they're not mentally ready for that for another year or two, or if they work mm -hmm. seriously. In their mindset. Um, so we're looking for those people who are positive or the freedom fighters who don't have a way to monetize their, their, because I, I'm sure, you know, there's so many people out there um, who are speaking truth and like, it's their job. They're showing up 24 seven with, some kind of incredible information that I, I don't even know like the half of it. And they're not monetizing that. They're adding so much value and they're showing up mm -hmm. more consistent than any one of us on a business and, and they're not monetizing it. So all we have to do right. is take people, align with them and then show them how to share this or incorporate this and how it is actually, I think the answer to everything bad out there, like our business. Okay. 
Well, I've just friended you on Facebook and I'm going to start <laughs> following you and start getting inspiration because I literally like in this position of wanting, if I didn't have life advantage, I would already be off Facebook uh -huh. like a long time ago. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so I only stay on there because I think mainly because of the business and like my team, but I'm not really using it to build because I just am finding that it, you know, I just, I just don't want, I don't know. I just, I have been uninspired to you. So I need to find, I'm so happy that you shared because I just need to find like-minded people. And I think that's really where it's at for me. It's just, just a, a shift in my, like, you know, in my mindset over the last few years and like realizing for the majority of my, you know, life before that, I was not really awake to things you know? Um, and mm. so it's like, wow, most of my social groups and friends and they don't think like me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I feel kind of alone in that. And so I'm like, I kind of just shy away from sharing. Oh so, no, you know, now, yeah. you're gonna, now you're going to find your runners. I think <laughs> so now you, now I think, um, you should slowly disengage with those people so you don't have to unfriend them or block them, but just unfollow them. So Facebook gives you an option to unfollow and then um, start actually seeking out people that are maybe, for example, like um, I always look up like I, we, I was in coastal Virginia. So I would look up um, crunchy mamas of coastal Virginia, you know, and usually mm -hmm. those crunchy mamas are kind of all the things they're 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 maybe protesting at the capitol and they're speaking against things and they're that you, you'll start to see who's who in that group because there's all kinds of shades in there but um you'll connect with them learn learn that um how to how to reach out and just say hey i'd love to connect with you i love what you said on on that group and um i would love to get to know you better or just you know as much as you can in real life groups or in social media groups and just start connecting with those people yeah. Well, thank you so much. And oh sorry, gosh, I don't pleasure. have my camera on. I'm like, I'm in the dark. No, I love it. Like on my couch. So, um, you know. <laughs> well, here's anyway, the thing. I think we, I love we your wanted, message. We want to connect with people genuinely. And I, I went to a life vantage convention earlier and a woman was in California and she built her whole business with like, based on like how I would build it on the freedom and truth and like, let, let's get out of the matrix type thing. Um, she built her business on anti-aging. So she's from California. She's actually a plastic surgeon. She's a pro eight. And she built it on the whole concept of anti-aging and how important that was for her and her crowd of people. Um, and she built a tremendously successful business because she got her avatar and she spoke to them. Now that wouldn't be something that would be authentic to me, even though it's all true. It's all super true, you know, anti-aging and, and what this product does. But my avatar now i can speak genuinely with my voice and attract my people and and they'll still come into this business because they're coming into it maybe not for anti-aging not because they want to extend life but because they want to mm -hmm. be healthy or get to the root cause of their issues or you know repair a vax injury or something like that yeah awesome thank you so much that was really this helpful is fun. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. That's my second quote. So there is chaos is your content and find the crunchy mamas. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Any notes. Thank you so much, Andrea. We really appreciate you jumping on the call. Sorry, we went a little over, but we really appreciate your time and we are happy to return the favor anytime, you know, if you're leading a call or, you know, need help with a three-way phone call, we're here to help you. Oh, I love that. I love it. I'll look forward to connecting with everyone and I'll see you all in June. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye, Andrea. Bye-bye. God bless. Good night, everybody. We'll talk about this. Good night.